Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. Today we're going to hear about everything going on at Secrets, the Art League of Ocean City, and then we're going to hear about the 29th annual Penguin Swim to benefit Atlantic General Hospital. We hope you enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And today we are at the Princess Royale on 94th Street with a beautiful Atlantic Ocean behind us to talk about the 29th annual Penguin Swim to benefit Atlantic General Hospital. So I have our co-chairs with me today, Mr. Ryan Kirby, Mr. Michael Silk, and a very special guest, Riley the Penguin. So, Michael, why don't you tell a little bit about the event, what we can expect. I know there's been a couple of changes due to scheduling, a big game coming up that day. Exactly, so. Melanie, good point. Um, so this year, the actual Penguin Swim will commence at 12 noon, so everybody will go in the water at 12 noon this year uh, in observance of the Ravens-Steelers uh, game that starts at one o'clock. So that's really the only change to this year's format. We will have um, pre-registration on New Year's Eve from two to four here at the Princess Royale. You can also check us out online at aghpenguinswim.org um, to register as well, your team or individual penguin. Um, and then New Year's Day, we start registration at nine in the morning until 11, and then our entrance to the Atlantic Ocean is at 12 noon this year. So to get involved, you can go to the website, you can pre-register, but tell me a little bit about the teams. I know for you, Ryan, it has become a family affair. Well, the teams is a great, great way to support uh, the Penguin Swim and also to get your family involved, get the community involved, whatever clubs you're involved with, the Ice Ice Kirby's. This is our <laughs> fifth or sixth year doing it. And uh, not only do we swim, uh, on New Year's, but we also raise a lot of money and there's different prizes uh, and awards for the highest fundraising um, families, businesses, all those different categories for fundraising and swimming. Sure, and everybody can get involved if you're a family, a business, a nonprofit, um, and all the funds do go to benefit the hospital. And here we have a local hospital we're so blessed to have right in our backyard here in Worcester County. I know there's a new facility going up with the Gadelski. Um, family practice right there on 589 and just a lot of great things the Burbage Cancer Center so the Atlantic General Hospital really does support our community um, in terms of the number of people that usually come out I know we get people from the local community but we also get people that are here visiting yeah and they come every year right yep Absolutely. especially on the weekend they're here celebrating New Year's and the Christmas holidays all the kids are off from school so they're down here celebrating what better way to ring in the new year and wash away last year than to jump in the ocean on New Year's. And if you don't want to jump in, there's always the cyber swim ability. So you can raise money for the hospital being a virtual swimmer, uh, and then you don't even have to jump in. There you go. And I know that this event has become such a you know classic event for Ocean City that the mayor even moved his New Year's <laughs> Day concert. It's actually going to be Friday the 30th at the Performing Arts Center um, in Ocean City at the Convention Center. So really, you have all day to hang out here. If you want to watch the game, you can watch the game. I'm sure the Pit and Pub and uh, Salty Dog are going to be busy down on 28th Street during that game. Um, but I guess in, in terms of how people can get involved, just one more time, phone number, website, anything else? And if Riley wanted to just say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> you know, how people can, can uh, participate. Yeah. Well, it, the easiest way is certainly aghpenguinswim.org. Uh, there you can register. If you don't want to register and swim, you can find a bunch of teams to donate to, or even better, throw a sponsorship in there. We got levels as low as $100 going all the way up to 5,000, you can be as, as small as a snowflake or as big as an iceberg. So, um, And I love the prizes that go out to the youngest swimmer and the oldest swimmer and the best costume. I mean, when you come out here and see what people have wrapped themselves in, true, yeah. it true. is quite a spectacle. You have true. to come out at least just to see that. It's always a lot of creativity on New Year's Day. We have, uh, you know, uh, families and young, young children that have been doing it for years and they come up with a different new outfit and theme every year and it always aligns with a really great way to bring in the new year. Yeah, absolutely. And at 11.55 when you start seeing that parade <laughs> come from Bowl on the Beach's parking lot, that's an amazing turnout. You know, you'll have a couple hundred at least coming from there, all like you said, decked out 
penguin outfits, superhero outfits, you name it. And, um, you know, and shout out to Bowl on the Beach for your 29 years of, of support. Oh, they've been tremendous yeah. through the Absolutely. years. Absolutely. And a little birdie told me that you were predicting the weather that day, Michael. Yes. So what are, what are so we thinking? Little weather prediction that day. Uh, we're looking at around a 43 degree temperature. Um, so definitely a little cooler than last year. But I know that with Bull on the Beach, one of our sponsors, uh, legacy sponsors, uh, they'll have no problem leading the charge into the Atlantic Ocean as well as our other uh, sponsor, uh, Raven's Roost number 44. Gary and his amazing group, I'm sure, will be equally excited uh, to get into the Atlantic Ocean on New Year's Day. And what a great way to start the year. So make sure you come out to the Princess Royale here on 94th Street. At, um, on New Year's Day, and we'll see you there for the 29th Annual Penguin Swim. Water damage can cause serious problems at your home or business. At Royal Plus, we have decades of experience serving commercial and residential properties. If your property has water damage, call Royal Plus at 866-404-7587. Hey everyone, I'm Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City, and I'm joined by Art League President John Sisson this month to tell you why mm -hmm. art matters this month and every month. Brought to you by the Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. So John, we're here in the galleries and you know, art brings so much joy into people's lives, but especially at the holidays, um, it's a great gift and it's a great way to just light up your home with artwork. And the galleries this month are really brimming with well, artwork. I'm, I'm just amazed, Rena, at the level of talent that we have. I mean, the landscape show we had last month, the members jury show here, and the, the best of 22 in the Galleria. Right, so it's let's tell everybody about what's showing this month in the galleries. Um, this month, in the Thaler Gallery, you're gonna see the um, members jury show, and we had 145 works that were submitted oh. to this show. Um, the juror selected 45 to exhibit, and beautiful array of work here in the um, gallery. And then upstairs in the Sisson Gallery, yeah. we have the best of 22, as oh. you were mentioning. Mm -hmm. And that is um, works that have been shown during the course of the year. So if you've been into the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street, and you saw a painting that you didn't get, come back this month, because we've brought back any, any paintings who've won prizes, um, whether it's uh, first, second, third place prizes. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the beautiful display upstairs, multimedia in the um, yeah, gallery. Yeah, plus we have the uh, artisan fair coming up talking about gifts. Absolutely. So there's plenty of opportunities here to purchase art. We'll open the receptions with our first Friday reception. And as John mentioned, we'll have an artisan fair going on on the first Friday and Saturday of the month. And people can see local authors and buy gifts and jewelry and lots going on in our gift shop as well. And then we also are showing a small work show in mm -hmm. what we call Studio E. And those are pieces that are 12 inches or smaller. Mm -hmm. So perfect for holiday gifts. Yeah. Or desk art. Right, or your desk too, yeah. And then lots mm -hmm. and lots of classes and things people can make their own gifts this month. Uh, we, well, have, we have a lot going on. We mm -hmm. have free family uh, art days. We have the heart and soul, the healing workshops. Mm -hmm. um, we have, uh, I this, think- This month we have ornament making, we have flower centerpieces. It's incredible. Um, things that are geared to the holidays. So check out our website, artleagueofoceancity.org, or now you can find us at ocart.org. And John, I wanted to spend a little bit of time just talking about um, Giving Tuesday and uh, the annual campaign, because today kicks off the season of giving. And uh, the Art League could not survive if it was not for all, all of the all supporters. All these things we do, all the outreach to the community, working with schools, working with uh, uh, developmentally challenged adults, um, our heart and soul healing workshops, a gallery that's open seven days a week, all year long. All these things you know, don't happen for free. That is um, true. So we, we really need 
everybody's generosity, everybody pulling together, whether it's giving on Tuesday, we're kicking off our annual fund on Friday. Mm -hmm. there, there are many ways to give, gifts small and gifts that make a, a real impact. Mm -hmm. So, you know, come to our uh, website, drop by the center, come to First Friday. There are many ways to give. It's a cause worth supporting. So come on out, enjoy the arts. We're open seven days a week. We're on 94th Street, Ocean City Center for the Arts. Um, and look it out for our new website, ocart.org. Yes. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Real in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. I have with me today Susan Jones, Executive Director with the Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. And we are on the beautiful bay here right next to the Convention Center. Not many people realize what an amazing view it is from the Convention Center. You can hear here the water laughing. <laughs> so lots of great events all, yes. all winter long going on at the Convention Center. But we're here to talk about fall and then going into winter. It's the most beautiful time of year here in Ocean City and in Worcester County. And as we lead out of October and into November, of course, we talk about Winterfest. Can't forget Winterfest. So can't, can't forget Winterfest, yeah. and that has been such a, an amazing event for Ocean City. It begins the middle of November, and it goes through New Year's Day, and the entire town participates now. Yes. You know, it used to be just up at Northside Park, and with COVID and everything, um, they started to do it where you could walk through it. So yes. you can actually walk through Winterfest. And I think a lot Winterfest. of people loved it more because you spent more time there. You weren't just on a quick tram ride. Ride. You're mm -hmm. walking with your family. You bundle up. A lot of fun. And then you get the hot cocoa, of course. Of Can't course. Forget the hot cocoa. Of course. <laughs> and I know the chamber does a decorating contest, too, to coincide yes. with that. And, and uh, I believe really in the visitor center this year, there's going to be a new little train oh, element built right. in the Ocean City Visitor Center. So that's going to be cool, too. And there's yeah. a lot of other things going on around the county, right? Yes. Every one of our towns, Snow Hill, Pocomo, Berlin, they really get into the festivities for the holiday season. We light up Maryland's coast, we like to yeah. call it. Um, but the, between the parades, I know yep. Berlin has Ice Ice Berlin. Um, Snow Hill is actually going to have an ice rink right on the Pocomoke River. Fun. And that's going to be a synthetic ice rink that they get to enjoy. Um, and of course, all of the festivities down in Pocomoke City. So really don't stop coming just no. when, when and the you winter know, hits. Winter so. is when we have all the great restaurant deals yes. too. Yes. You can't beat the restaurant deals. I know. This is such yes. a great place to come in our second season. Yep. So for more information, you can visit ococean.com for all the events, everything to do, and just really come and enjoy Ocean City and Worcester County. Celebrate the songs of Beethoven, Billy Joel, Elton John, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, and many more. It's the greatest piano men, a tribute to piano playing prodigies and rock and roll legends. Not to be missed, the Mayor's New Year's event, December 30th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Secure your seat now for an unforgettable night of favorites, recreated to perfection in this live concert experience. Tickets on sale now. For more information, visit OCMDPerformingArtsCenter.com. A portion of the proceeds benefits the Ocean City Paramedic Foundation. Welcome to Secrets, Jamaica, USA. We're located at 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland, and we're open Thursday at 4 o'clock and Friday through Sunday at 11 a.m. Enjoy lunch or dinner in our tropical Bayside dining areas. We have happy hour from 4 to 7 and great dinner specials on Thursdays and Sundays. Enjoy a night out with live entertainment every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night with the area's best bands and DJs. And watch all of the Sunday football games in the Morley Hall on our jumbo screen with stadium sound. We also have a rotating specialty menu every week. We invite everyone to join us for Ocean 98's and Secrets Christmas Party on Friday, December 16th. This is a free event with a complimentary buffet, great door prizes, drink specials, and a Chinese auction to benefit Ocean 98's Cash for College Fund. We'll have live entertainment on two stages, including Brandon Hardesky from Bumpin' Uglies, Howie Spangler from Ballyhoo, DJ Magellan, The Rogue Citizens, Feng Shui, and Higher Education. 
Ring in the new year at Secrets with a complimentary champagne toast, balloon drop at midnight, and party till 4 a.m. with live entertainment all night. We'll have Full Circle, The Malones, Late Last Night, Triple Rail Turn, Band of Make Believe, and three live DJs. Now accepting dinner reservations at secrets.com slash NYE. Over at Secrets Distillery, they've been working nonstop to bring you the award-winning Secret Spirits. Distillery tours are offered every Saturday and Sunday from 11 to 5. See how we make our spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservations at secretsdistilling.com. The new Atlantic Beverage Center is open. Located at 51st Street in the new Area 51 building with over 3,500 square feet, the ABC offers a wide selection of spirits. Ask our knowledgeable staff about the local craft beer and wine, as well as rare sought-after products. All of the handcrafted Secret Spirits line are also available at the ABC, including the limited releases only found here and at the distillery. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets Ready to Drink Cocktails, Orange Crush, Electric Lemonade, and Big Bamboo. And make sure you take advantage of the Secrets Distilling Bottle Buyback Program. Bring in an empty bottle of Secret Spirits and get $2 off your next Secret Spirits purchase. Stop by and see us soon at Secrets, Secrets Distillery, or the ABC store. Find us and get lost. Visit Secrets Jamaica, USA, where it feels like the tropics all year long. Enjoy delicious happy hour drink specials from 4 to 7 and nightly food specials Thursday and Sunday. Then get ready for the perfect night out. Home to the Morley Hall Nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Secrets, 49th Street and the Bay, Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Beach to Bay Heritage Area is an extraordinary place. Our byways and trails trace our history and our connections to each other. Our folkways are evident in our cultural traditions, historic sites, and familial links. Our foodways are derived from our long-standing relationship with the land, and water. Our waterways have provided commerce and recreation for centuries. Our walkways in our historic towns and villages link people and places to each other and to our history. This is our way, a trove of ancient paths and trails, for cultural traditions and stories of the people who shaped this landscape from the past to the present and from the beach to the bay. Brought to you by the Beach to Bay Heritage Area and the Humphreys Foundation. Sophia's Italian Restaurant in Ocean City serves lunch and dinner with specialty dishes prepared by our chef Salvatore. Homemade delectable dishes like...
carry out, delivery, or dine in. Sophia's Italian Restaurant. Hi, folks. Welcome to Coastal Smokehouse. My name is Frank. I'm one of the managers here. And I'm Lauren. I'm one of the bartenders here. Uh, today, we're here to talk to you about some of our new off season specials. Um, Right now I have some of our signature cocktails in front of us. We have our apple cider old fashioned and our cucumber jalapeno margarita, as well as an old favorite, the raspberry fizz. And here also in front of you, we have several different uh, menu items. A uh, couple of things that we've kept on the menu, are waffle fry nachos, which, which has our pulled pork on it. And we have our ribs and pulled pork here as well. In this case, it comes with our bourbon pecan, sweet potato casserole and collard greens. A couple of our new menu items are brisket pierogi entree. We changed it up a little bit. Instead of just having the pierogies the way they normally come out, we actually breaded them and deep fried them. We still added the hand cut brisket, mushrooms, onions, and chive creme there for you. This is also one of our new menu items. It's our duck breast. It's gonna come with a uh, country fried sweet potato hash that includes collard greens, mushrooms, and onions as well. Uh, and then it comes with our drunken fruit on top of it and a bourbon glaze as well. And then right here in the center, we have our bread pudding. It's something that we change often, so make sure you ask your server what type of bread pudding we have. Uh, we've gone from a quad berry to a chocolate peanut butter and everything in between. And guys, don't forget about our weekly specials we have going on throughout the off season either. Monday, burger and a beer night. Your first beer is included with your purchase of a chef's special burger. Tuesdays, we have trivia with DJ Bigler from seven to nine. And on Thursdays, we do our Tapas Thursdays where we take smaller portioned items and you're able to share those. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, we like to do live music from 4 to 7 p.m. Happy hour is every day from 3 to 6 and we open every day at 1130-ish. Come check us out, guys, and try all of our new menu items. We hope to see you soon. Coastal Smokehouse. Steaks and bourbon in West O.C. Coastal Smokehouse, Steaks and Bourbon, Ocean Gateway, West OC. Experience three days of powerful, soul-filled music at DreamFest, January 13th to the 15th at the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. Enjoy some of the industry's most iconic and enduring groups, including the B.B. King Experience featuring Claudette King, Thomas Cleary's Commodore's Experience, and The Spinners. Find your frequency, recharge your musical soul, and move to the rhythm at Ocean City's first DreamFest. Get your tickets now at ococean.com slash DreamFest. That's ococean.com slash DreamFest. And celebrate MLK Weekend along the coast. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I have a guest with me today, Ms. Ivy Wells. How Hello. are you, Ivy? I'm good. She is the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin, one of the gems here on Maryland's coast in Worcester County. And we are at a really unique location today we in are. front of Oxford Studios. And so we're going to talk all things art. The arts are alive in Worcester County and especially in Berlin. in Berlin. So what's going on, Ivy? So we are a designated arts and entertainment district. And what that means is we have a variety of public art. We've got a, a ton of live music venues here. We have right behind us glass blowing studio, Jeff Oxer Designs, uh, another glass blowing studio, Beach Memories. We've got a historical mural. We've got a fun mural and we have an interactive mural. Oh, wow. And one of our newest and most prominent murals here in Berlin is the Reverend Charles Albert Tindley. We were just recently there for the unveiling, and that is just such a spectacular sight. So kind of how did that come about, and what is the significance Sure. There? Well, what people don't realize is that Reverend Tindley was born here in Berlin. He became famous as the godfather of gospel music, and, and we needed to celebrate that. We mm -hmm. needed to showcase who Reverend Tindley was, and we dedicated an entire wall to him. Um, a local musician wrote a song about him and it, it's a really special project. We feel very fortunate to be able to work on that. Yeah, and, and at the unveiling I know the family was here and it was just such a moving and special time for the residents of Berlin and then all the visitors that come here and, and experience that mural. So it just it, it was a really great opportunity to showcase somebody who meant so much to Berlin and we, we decided to own that he was born here and I think not Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right. He was Berlin born 
And the interesting thing about the mural is that everyone got to watch the artist paint the mural while mm -hmm. it was going on, and that was just spectacular. And it looks like that that wall on Bruder Hill it was made for that mural. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of discussion of where does it go, and a lot of work went into it, and so I think it just turned out perfectly. Yeah, so. it was a beautiful mural. And I know that the Beach to Bay Heritage Area uh, really was instrumental in making that happen, and we were kind of a part of that whole initiative, and so yes. with tourism and economic development, so it's really exciting to see something like that come alive. And, you know, speaking of the arts, you know, you can come and experience that in Berlin, but also, how about the dining? So we have become a culinary destination with a variety of restaurants, bake shops, we have a chocolatier here, ice cream. You can never go hungry in Berlin. Yeah, and, and every time you come, it's a different experience. Completely, sure. completely different every time. And, you know, people like to get ice cream. They walk around at night. They enjoy the beautiful art. Um, the other thing about our downtown shops is that they feature local art in their shops. Mm -hmm. And many of these, many of the artists like to showcase their work in our downtown shops. And the Worcester County Arts Council is right here in Berlin. And so you can go in there, you can become a part of that organization, and you can display your art in there. Absolutely. And, and during the farmer's market, uh, the Worcester County Arts Council opens up early, and many of the shops opens early, too. And the other cool thing is being able to create your own art. I know here at the Glass Blowing Studio, that's a big thing around the holidays. You can create your own ornaments. So you can really be a part of the arts on any level here in Berlin. And for more information, where do people go, Ivy? You can go to BerlinMainStreet.com or specifically about our arts district, you can go to BerlinArtsDistrict.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Winter has arrived and so is our snow promotion at Park Place Jewelers. If it snows one inch on New Year's Day between noon and midnight, anything you purchase between now and December 18th will be free. Dad, did you say free? Did he say free? That's right, I said free. So if you're going to purchase jewelry this Christmas, you might as well have a chance to get it for free. Did he say free? So come into Park Place Jewelers between now and December 18th to have your chance to get your jewelry for free this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching today. Be sure to join us every Sunday morning on WMDT for Beach and Beyond, 10 a.m.